Bobolini did the other day. Bobolini did the other day, but uh, sorry, I, I need to uh, withhold from that. I'll let the, the players who are much better looking and more athletic do that than myself, or Coach Morris for that matter. But uh, first of all, let me just say uh, thank you all for coming, and uh, good morning and welcome to the University of Nebraska Kearney. You know, a year ago, uh, as we conclude, began the beginning of our second year in the MIAA, which is a very highly competitive conference, we have seven of 17 teams that finished in the top three of their respective sports standings. 11 went on to compete in NCAA championship competition. 15 out of our 17 programs had above a 3.0 grade point average and were involved in over 8,000 hours of community service. After last season's eight and three football season, our staff spent a great deal of time analyzing the direction we are heading. Newton's first law of motion says, every object in a state of uniform motion tends to remain in that state of motion unless an external force is applied to it. Coach Morris and I figured it was time to apply an external force to two consecutive seasons in which we were three and eight. What a better way to change our course of action than to change our look. In January, we concluded a three month process of securing a uniform apparel and footwear vendor for the entire Department of Intercollegiate Athletics. Bids came from every major company in America in hopes of partnering with the Lopers. It was our goal to collaborate with a national brand who makes state-of-the-art good-looking and highly appealing apparel. We want our student athletes performing at the highest level technology to stay design lines with our traditional blue and gold colors, making our jerseys attractive to alumni, fans, and student athletes. Our three sets of football uniforms are interchangeable for both home and away games. Our alternative black uniform, which fans will start to see worn by many of our Loper teams this coming fall, will maintain the Loper and gold. And I can tell you firsthand that our players in all sports love the black look while maintaining our historical blue and gold. We are excited about the upcoming season and believe it is our time to shine in the highly competitive MIAA. Your team is ready. At this time, I'd like to introduce head coach Daryl Morris, who's entering his 15th season, 98 career coaching wins. Coach Morris is off to an incredible start for this new upcoming season, and we're excited to embrace this year, his vision, and our program as we look to take on the new challenges that lie ahead. Coach Morris. Good morning, everybody. And I, I don't know if I need this microphone, but uh, you know, from a head coaching perspective, uh, this is a big day for us and a big day for our football program. And it's something that we've been excited about and have looked forward to for some time. It's something that this football program has needed for quite some time. When you recruit the modern day student athlete, the question will inevitably be asked, who are you with? And I don't mean who is your wife. They mean wit watch what sports apparel company do you belong to? And we can now say Under Armour, and we have immediate credibility nationally uh, with that Under Armour logo. Uh, this is going to, uh, you know, a football team that looks good, feels good about itself, uh, uh, will play better. And we, we, we truly believe that. Uh, our kids for a long time have looked at other programs with envy about the way they came out and about the way they were dressed when they hit the field. So. We're extremely excited about our association with Under Armour. It is, if, if you look at apparel companies across the country, Nike is, is almost across the spectrum of uh, athletic apparel. Uh, Adidas, Adias is a soccer uh, apparel company for the most part. But when you say Under Armour, every kid in the United States knows you're talking about football, football gear. So we're very excited about this. The uniforms are outstanding. I couldn't be more pleased with the way they look. 
I can't be more pleased with the presentation that that's going to make uh, when we hit the field against Northwest Missouri, for example, in our first ball game. Uh, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to set the standard for our football program. Our football program is finally taking a major step to look and act like an MIAA football program. And that is something that I've wanted since we even started talking about going into this league. So I couldn't be more happy about it. I think it's going to be outstanding for our football team. It's going to help us in recruiting. And it's going to help the image of UNK. And I agree with Paul. The black uniforms have been wanted by student athletes of every sport here for since I, I've been around. So we're very excited about that. So uh, having said that, we'll bring out the guys and let, them take, let you take a look at what we have now. Fellas. We have linebacker Ty Kozell here in the black uniform. We have uh, uh, Romero Cotton in the white uniform and Bronson Marsh, our quarterback, in the blue uniform. If you take a look at these uniforms, they are all completely interchangeable. So there are 12 different versions of this uniform. And we as a staff have already gone through the season and we've decided that when we play Northwest Missouri, it'll be white on white. And as we go through the season, we already know it's going to be black on blue, white on blue, blue on black uh, as we've gone through the schedule. So we're excited about these uniforms. The kids love them. Uh, their excitement level is in the stratosphere about the uniforms. And again, a team that looks good and feels good about itself will play better and have a better image. And we think it's a sellable market as well. Uh, so I think our apparel is going to take off in terms of retail sales. And then even if you take a look at the different logos, the way we've changed the logo uh, on our helmets is going to be a, a new creative thing as well. We have a military day, I think, uh, September 11th with uh, Washburn University. So we are going to have a uh, red, white, and blue Loper uh, logo, lo Loper uh, uh, emblem. Uh, we also have uh, a pink one for Breast Awareness Week. Uh, and then, of course, the, the normal uh, Loper logo is much larger than it has been in the past. So again, since Dr. Polinsky has gotten here and has been open to new ways of expressing ourselves on the football field with the way we look, we feel very good about this, and we think it's going to be an excellent recruiting tool for us. So, uh, you know, we're excited about it. Questions or anything of that nature? Perfect. All right. Are those camos from last year, are they done? No, we, uh, we actually do have uh, one date set aside. I think it's against Fort Hayes State we'll wear the camo uniforms. Probably one more year and then and maybe go from there. But uh, paid a lot of money for those, so we gotta, we got to burn them one more time anyway. Why the whites in the first game? Well, so it's an away game. Well, we're on the road. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm kind of partial to the white. I think the white almost, and it really comes down to a pre preference of the student athlete, which uh, style they prefer. Uh, most of the skilled players prefer to have a low cut. And then as you start getting bigger, uh, the kids start to want the ankle protection, so they even go to a, a high level shoe. So uh, it really comes down to personal preference with them. We did choose the black and white, though, because it would be universal with the different uh, color schemes that we can come up with the uniforms. Does every other football playing school have a contract with a major company or do you know? In the MIAA, I would say not really sure, but I'd say a majority of them probably do. But I, I couldn't testify to that. So whereas you know, a major university uh, would be paid by Under Armour to wear their stuff, we're not getting paid by Under Armour. Well, uh, Mr. Polinsky can probably answer those contractual questions for you. I mean, our student athletes do get a discounted rate on other Under Armour gear. They can't get on their online store and purchase things and, and get a discount rate as much as 40 percent so and we've already had a situation where they've gone this summer and selected and we have selected specific gear that they are allowed to purchase and then wear in a game so uh, one of the things for our student athletes is going to be different is they will have to wear Under Armour stuff every guy on our football team will look just like their teammate as we hit the field so we're not going to have you know, somebody wearing a Nike undergarment or, or, or an Adidas uh, t-shirt, it's going to be Under Armour or nothing. You said you can do like the, the blue and white. Um, can you do blue and black? There's no regulations on it? No, it's all interchangeable. And the MIAA this year went through all the different uniforms of every member school uh, in the conference, and they have approved all uh, the uniforms. For example, our camo jerseys that you mentioned earlier are approved to be a 
home jersey, uh, not, not, uh, wouldn't conflict with an opposing team's jersey. So uh, everything that we have, the blue matches, the blue jersey can go with all three sets of pants and the black jersey can go with all three sets of pants and so forth. So again, there are 12 different versions of these, these uniforms and we will use all 12 of them as we go through the season. And I think probably the most is twice we'll have the same uniform on either on the road or at home. This is your game, game day gear. What about your every day? How, how's, how much is that helping? I guess? Well, that, that's another area that I have been uh, wanting for quite some time as the head football coach. And that is when we go on the road and we go to the opposing team stadium to work out. Uh, in the past, we were a hodgepodge. Our kids basically wore what they personally owned. Uh, now our kids are getting multiple sets of practice gear and workout gear. So even when they go into our weight room uh, now, they will all be dressed exactly the same, which is exactly what I want. Y'all that know me know I come from a military background. I have a military mentality. Uh, military armies wear specific uniforms for a reason, and that's so you can tell where everybody is from. And I want people to know when we get off the bus at an opposing stadium, we're from the University of Nebraska at Kearney. So I'm very excited about the fact that we're also picking up extra gear for practice, for the weight room, and for workouts in general for our student athletes as well. Any other Under Armour schools in the MIAA? Not sure. Fort Hayes State. Fort Hayes State. Which is even cooler. I, I prefer us to be the only one or not very many. Anything else I can help you with? That's dark, that's light, and that's dark again down there. So that's why we had to do it preseason, so I, I would know what color your uniform we were in. What kind of input did the players have on choosing the uh, You know, uh, we had Mr. Polinski, myself, um, and uh, Coach Bowder, I think, was on the little committee that we, when we started designing the uniforms. Uh, I don't know if we had a lot of player input other than the fact that we've been around a long time and we knew what they wanted. We knew that this, we had to have some black on a uniform. Uh, you know, it is the, the modern day color and it is everybody has some black, whether it's an actual school color or not. So we knew we had to have that. We knew we needed a white one. And of course we knew we needed a royal blue one. So uh, it wasn't all that difficult. Our, our rep from Under Armour was invaluable in my mind of making sure that the uniforms flowed. Whether you have the white jersey with the blue pants, it still needed to flow from top to bottom. And he was invaluable in helping us make sure that we actually did that. Carol, this is the first you've had gold in the uniform for all of the years. How do you feel about that? I, I feel very good about that. And, and as, we, as we have talked uh, in years past, one year, you know, for a period of time, we had silver pants. And then we had, you know, we had royal blue pants and navy blue helmets. And, and we got a lot of negative comments from alumni and boosters and people like this. So I, I think everybody is going to be on board with the consistent look, the quality of the look, and even the contemporary uh, look that we now have in our football program and other sports as, as they go forward as well. Anything else? I appreciate you coming. We're excited about this. We're excited about the upcoming season. And uh, if there's uh, anything else you, you need, let me know or let Mr. Polinski know, and I'm sure we can take care of you. Thank you very much. We'll have student athletes available for one-on-one -on -one interviews if you'd like to do so. And uh, other than that, thank you for your time. Daryl and I will also be available if you have any questions, if you want to ask us. So feel free to stick around. And, and uh, thank you all for your support. Look forward to seeing you and having a great year. And you guys take from